how's it going? My name's Rod. I'm going to take you here to show you South Belfast and East Belfast Youth Works. As you can see, there's just uh, two guys playing pool here and uh, there's a few people playing the Xbox here. This is the area where we do uh, our uh, group sessions, so it is. Um, it's just a wee talk shop bar, so it is. Uh, and this room is just basically where, uh, it's just a chill out room, really. Uh, we do our one-to-ones and uh, make a cup of tea and stuff. Alright, Alfred. Uh, my name is Alfred and uh, this is Brian. Through you first we've been learning about Bartleys and stuff like that. What have you learned about Bartleys? Like how to be a pre-mentor and how to save money and spend the day there for a fiver and stuff. You've enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been good. What else have you enjoyed about you folks in general? Well, I've liked the essential skills. Hopefully I've got my level two and stuff. And I've liked doing these wee courses and... Good, that's good. Hey, Brian, that's fair. No way, I'll fix you on that. Hey, Alfie, what's your favourite thing? Uh, my name's Willie. I'm from Donegal Pass, over in the south. And I'm here to tell you about Peace and Rag with Nigel. We do different cultures, and over here we have Alfie, which is learned about looking at Irish and different cultures. And over here we have Curtis, who's completing his OCN level two booklet. This ties in really well with our cross community work. I'm Bea, I'm going to talk to you about like, Bright Activate. It's really good and fun because like people from different backgrounds come together, it's like cross community and we sometimes go to here. And I ask you to go and talk to Ryan. Hi, my name is Ryan. We were here last week and we done canoeing and kayaking. It was good, good fun, but freezing. This is what Pete gets for not paying us in time. Hi, I'm Pete. Um, I coordinate YouthWorks in South and East Belfast. Um, a very important part of YouthWorks is the essential skills, um, both in English and numeracy, uh, literacy and numeracy. Um, all ten of the young people have completed their essential skills, and at the minute, Chris is just finishing off, so you can go in here have a chat with him. This is Chris, the one of the on, Chris. Sorry. How are you finding your paper? It's tough, so it is. Is it harder in school or is it? Yeah, it's a wee bit harder, it's more challenging. Okay, that's brilliant, Chris. Listen, I won't disturb you any longer. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Another one through you, hopefully. Hello, okay, I'm going to talk to Jordan a little bit about his placement. So, um, first of all, you started YouthWorks five months ago. Um, what were your interests whenever you started YouthWorks? Art, cooking, and hanging about me. Okay, brilliant. Um, so you're interested in cooking, and what placement did you start then a couple of months ago? I started working in Mary Curry, cooking for patients and visitors. and. Okay. Brilliant. And what about, um, so whenever you go in, what time do you start? 8 to half 4. 8 to half 4, so it's a long day and an early start. As soon as you come in, what do you do at 8 o'clock? Get my chef lights on, go in the kitchen and prepare food. Brilliant. Okay. Um, now that YouthWorks is coming to a close, um, what's the next stage for you then? What's the next thing you're going to do? Look for a job. Brilliant. And um, do you think that you're in a good position to get a job? Did you get any essential skills or anything from YouthWorks? Yes, I got level 2 in numeracy and entry level 3 in literacy. Brilliant, okay. Um, so you're ready for a job and you're excited about becoming a chef then? Yes. Brilliant. Okay, Jordan, thank you very much. You're welcome, Pete. 
Um, the purpose of our one-to-one -one meetings is so that the young people have a safe and non-judgmental environment where they can offload on any issues that they might be having, uh, both inside and outside of these works. It is also used to encourage and advise a young person, facilitating uh, their personal development. The one-to-ones have really helped me like develop my skills and like they've helped me with my essential skills and like if I'm ever like struggling with something then I can like go talk to Jade about it even if it's not in a one-to-one. -one. And then like if I'm ever behind in my essential skills then Jade could like help me with them as well. The hope is that by making this time available for the young people uh, they become more relaxed and focused within the programme. Is there any courses that we've missed out? Like a fire cooking or something? Uh, cooking for the event. Right, okay, so you just cook the, the event. Fact done, uh, done. In Donegal Pass, the community safety one. The food hygiene thing. Uh, well, yes, yep, the, uh, what was that? Hygiene. Level was that? Um, level two, food safety hygiene. What's that level there? Mad English, yeah. level one. I mean, Mad English, pass. literacy, and numeracy. The cross community stuff, okay, that's all the peace and rec stuff. Youth course. The youth work course, so what's that, level OCN? Yeah. OCN level one? Yeah. CSR card? Why would you want the CSR card? Uh, so you can get like uh, like go on film sites and start working. Okay. Okay. Great. Is there um a policy apart from all the qualifications? Is there any other reason why you go to youth works or what's actually good about coming here? Make new people. Give you something to do. Give you something to do. Get a land and bed all day. Get qualifications. If you don't, then you get qualifications. Okay. A few quid. And a few quid. Okay, what's, what's the, the plans for whenever the course finishes? Uh, get a trust job, thing. Get a job. Oh, Princess Trust thing? We team. Right, okay, the team thing. Okay. And what about, um, are you interested in like an ex members group? Yeah, Right, okay. So we'll all get to keep in touch with each other? Okay. Okay, brilliant guys, that's great. Thanks very much.